and welcome back to my channel. This video is just a um, a little sort of uh, impromptu video, I guess. In other words, I haven't taken any notes um, for it, so I'm sort of speaking off the cuff, as it were. Uh, I just wanted to just fancy doing a video today, as it's um, Christmas Eve, um, and uh, actually, the main reason I want to do this video was I wanted, because I, I did mention it in my last two videos from, from last week, um, but only in passing, so I just wanted to talk about it a bit more here, is that um, not that long ago I had the good fortune of um, being on a podcast um, for the Thoughty Orty, um, the Thoughty Orty podcast. Um, the Thoughty Orty podcast um, is is a podcast um, hosted by um, Asperger's Growth. Asperger's Growth uh, is the channel's name. So if you put that into YouTube, you would type in Asperger's Growth, and on that channel, you will find the Thoughty Orty podcast. Asperger's Growth. Um, it's the name of a channel, but the person uh, who does the videos on that channel is a young man called Thomas. Um, he's autistic, and he's he's won a number of awards. Um, he actually did a um, very good documentary, actually, which I think you can watch on his channel called, um, if I remember correctly, it's called Asperger's and Mental Health. I think I can't quite remember. I I, I don't know if that's the actual title, but it'll be on his channel anyway. Um, so you can watch the documentary on his channel. Um, I think he's got a website as well, but the details again will be on his channel. Um, Thomas Henley, that's his name. I'm put, yeah, Thomas Henley. That's his name. Um, he's a really nice person and he's done a lot of work um, around autism, specifically Asperger's and um, mental health. Um, I think he's a, he's a university graduate. I think in the university, was it University of Manchester, I think? It'll be on his documentary anyway. Um, I think he, yeah, he studied um, bio. Um, go off my head now, because like, we chatted about it before I did a podcast. It was um, in um, sort of, um, I think it was um, med medicine, or was it biopharmaceutical, something like that. Anyway, he's got a sort of scientific background. Um, but yeah, so um, I, I found I found myself just watching um, or listening, I should say, to. Um, some of his podcasts where he interviews various autistic people, some from the UK, some from other countries, and um, he put an advert, not an advert. He, um, <laughs> you know, he he said on he said on the um, um, trying to get my words in order, so I haven't taken any notes. Um, I'm hoping, I hope I'm making sense. Um, yeah, he put out. Um, he asked people, he asked people who were listening to his podcast, um, who wanted to get in, who, want, who, who, who wanted to get involved to email him if they wanted to be on his podcast. So I did that just on a whim, you know, thinking, oh, you know, that would be quite interesting, I'd like to be on this podcast. And I wasn't expecting to get a reply so soon, so I was very chuffed when um, Thomas um, got back in contact with me. Um to say that I could be on his podcast and that was really exciting and um, he sort of asked me what I had in mind, what I wanted to talk about. Uh, I suggested OCD um, and a few other things but we went with OCD because we thought that would be quite a sort of topical thing to talk about considering the current like coronavirus crisis um, and also Thomas had done a, um, a podcast already um, not that long ago with another autistic person, I can't for the life of me remember the person's name. It was a friend of Thomas's, but another autistic person anyway who had relationship OCD, um, a type of OCD I'd never actually heard of before, but I'd listened to that podcast, so he thought it would tie in quite well with that, because obviously my OCD is a bit more like conventional to do with like contamination and things. Um, so, first of all, what happened was obviously I had a, um, uh, I met up with Thomas obviously virtually online, um, uh, you know, a, uh, on Skype, I think it was. Um, so um, just to see him face to face really and just have a quick chat and then um, uh, and then not long after that um, we did the podcast um, first of all we when we did a podcast 
yeah, I had to actually have quite a long chat with Thomas actually before we did a podcast. Um, it went on for quite a number of hours where we just like got to know each other a bit and talked and stuff about what we wanted to talk about on the podcast and stuff. And then that was like a video sort of call Skype. And um, but yeah, I did a podcast, one podcast. Obviously, that was um, I didn't I didn't see Thomas's face on the podcast. That was done. You know, it was uh, I could just hear him. Um, and we had a little bit of a pre-podcast chat and then we got on with it and then obviously um, Thomas had to go away and edit it so some of what I said obviously doesn't appear on the podcast but Thomas did a very good job at editing it and he sent me a private copy of it first so I listened to it and it sounded all, sounded all really good so then it went up live and now you can all go and view it um, that was really cool, I really enjoyed doing that um, it's not like, because I've never really been on a podcast like that before, so I'm, I was really pleased. So, as I say, um, do go and check out Thomas's channel and subscribe to his channel, because I think he's doing a really good job, and he's he's a really good YouTuber, and um, he's really clear, and it's really good what he's doing, because he like he's involved in quite a number of autistic people, and who knows, you could be on his podcast too, you know? All you have to do is, if you wanted to be involved, all you have to do is email him, and... Um, yeah, say so you, you're autistic or and you'd like to be on his podcast, and um, so I think the more people who he he who get to be on his podcast, you know, the better really. And um, I do hope it'd be great, you know, if they, if it could get a wider view. And I think he did get an award recently as well for his work. So yeah, so that's my little uh, sort of um, I guess you could call it a publicity video. <laughs> um, but um, again, I'll put the link. I did put a link in my previous video, but I'll put the link below in this video as well. Uh, for the podcast okay so i'm going to move on now to video number two as i say these videos are quite, I kind of um unplanned i haven't really um written any notes for them i just wanted to do a bit of talking um i'm not review I'm, i will carry on reviewing uh this burgers book by um uh luke bearden that i started last week but I'll, i think i'll wait um if that's okay with you um i might have to wait a little bit um you know just obviously it's christmas is coming up and stuff but i will carry on reviewing that book review just have to be in another video in another week Okay, so moving on to video number two now.